Well, this trip's been on the cards for a long time. North-south track, Kaimai Mamaku Conservation Park. I've been walking in the Kaimai since I was a kid. Did my first overnight tramp here in my early teens. But now it's uh, finally time to attempt that continuous journey of the whole range. So uh, I've uh, just started at State Highway 29 in the south. I'll be walking northbound, looking to finish up at Krangahaki Gorge on State Highway 2 in five days, so it's going to be a hell of a trip. Um, my goal tonight is to get to Te Whare Oki Oki, uh, which I booked. Um, so it's about midday now, by dock time I'm looking at six hours, so we'll see how we go. So much going on here in the Kaimai. We've got our um, crown fern or pew pew all over the ground. Really dense karil, supplejack in the background. We've got a Nico palm over there. And surprisingly, even a couple of uh, horopito trees. Massive tawa trees above, various tree ferns. It's all going on. So just come from there, and from here on I tack on to a bunch of old logging tram lines from the old days, um, and it's much more kind of open and easy going. Along the stretch to Hudanui Hut, beauty weather.
there it is. Flash, eh? Just arrived here at Whareoki Oki. Uh, way ahead of schedule too. So, you know, I could go on, but I might as well make use of that booking I have. Um, so, yeah, really can't complain. That was a really good first day. Not too bad at all. Um, plan will just be to relax, enjoy the evening, rest, get dinner on. I am cold soaking on this trip, so uh, say what you will. So I'm off this morning, pretty good night at the hut, only two others there. My goal today is to get close to Te Hunga Ridge, so that's a pretty gnarly tabletop feature on the range. Uh, the old north-south track used to go up and over it, now it just goes around it. Um, so my goal is to, um, I will be camping tonight, just get around there and that'll put me in a good spot to get onto the high ground that I'll be climbing tomorrow. Just spooked a deer. I actually spooked one this morning too, so that's two for this morning. Wish I could have got it on film. Just got to the junction for White Eddy Falls. Would be cool to go check that out, but I'm actually planning on coming back there in a couple of weeks, so I think I'll just head on. Seen some really cool species through this part. Some uh, Fekiponga, or woolly tree fern. Uh, some big lancewoods, Horueka. Big Rimus, and even some Kahikatea back there. So, pretty cool. Should have turned around right where I was standing. I think that's a massive Kahikatea. My best guess.
that's all mostly mature Tanikaha in there. Well I had two ideas on where I was going to camp tonight and I've ended up randomly just camping in between them uh, due to a few decisions I just made. Um, so not too bad of a day. Uh, the section between Wairere and the upper Ongatiti River, there were a few rough sections in there but from the river on it was primo. So looking forward to getting up onto the high ground tomorrow. I'm just below it now. Morning. Should be a bit of action today, different to the rest of the trip so far. So I've got a pretty steep climb up onto the main Kaimai ridge line, and then I'll be following that all the way along the tops to hopefully Tereria to Kahia Hut for tonight. So it should be some pretty exciting track, some ladders and stuff, and probably the best views I'll get for the whole trip if the, the weather plays along. Pretty decent climb up to here, this is the junction for the old north-south track where Cody Tatahi hut still sits. It was pretty gnarly last time I went up there but I hear it's better now. But looks like we could be fogged out for now unfortunately.
Just at Musutapere Hut for an early lunch. It was a bit of a slog this morning, but at least the weather cleared for the fun bits coming up next. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see some people on the very top of Sentinel Rock there. Just coloured dots. It's been a pretty epic day. It was really good to get to the hut and I've just been chilling out the whole afternoon because my body's really feeling it now. But looking forward to a restful night. Just heading up to the viewpoint up at Feature Baldy above Te Riri Atu here hut. You kind of have to do it if, you, if you're here. Morning of day four. So my goal today is to get into the Waitafata Valley. Um, there's a few ways to get there, but the way I'm going is just the current official north-south track, and that involves a pretty steep drop down from Te Riri Atu Kahia, uh, only to climb that elevation again. Um, but once I'm into that Waitafata Valley, it's going to be really chill. Just it's mostly flat, really scenic. So actually can't wait. Uh, to get into the air um, and I'm hoping to shoot all the way through that valley and get to Daly's hut tonight so uh, once I'm there it'll be pretty much just a skip over to the gorge tomorrow for the last day
you know it's getting good when you hit a Cody and a red beech tree right side by side. So we've got a big Cody here and then red beech in here. And what's cool about the Kaimai is that it's the southern limit for Cody and the northern limit for Tafai or beech. Um, so beech usually occurs at much higher altitude but here on the Kaimai you get these isolated pockets of it. Um, yeah, really cool. My favourite. Here we go, finally arrived at Daly's Clearing Hut. That was probably my longest day, definitely longest distance wise as well.
Well, I've been walking for a few hours now this morning. Um, pretty steep drop down from Daly's Clearing Hut and a decent crossing of the Waitafata River I just got done, but uh, all out of the way. So coming up next is Dickey Flat, which is a really nice road accessible dock campsite. And then from there it's pretty much just following the um, popular Karangahaki Gorge day walks to the finish line. And they give a real cool insight into the old mining history of the area. Some of the first dock walking I ever did as a kid, so it's going to be a really cool way to end the trip. Go State Highway to Well, that's the north south track done. All I can say is huge respect to the Kaimai. If anything, the track just shows how scarred the Kaimai is through its unfortunate history of uh, logging and mining. But it's still so good to see so many uh, thriving Cody in the park, still. Obviously, being looked after by Doc and uh, the Kaimai Ridgeway project. So, yeah, not too stoked to hear all this traffic again. But now it's just chilling out, waiting for my ride. Yeah, pretty tired, eh? 